guys welcome back and thanks for joining me um one of wee videos i tied the the Ballandari golden olive and i'm going to tell you this wee one this is the Ballandari black um just a sort of wee slate variant of it now this is a very good fly for for Dalican. um basically as the name suggests for the Ballandari river here in northern ireland now i'm going to put the tag on the back first and i'm going to use a, a glow bright frost number 10. we're just going to come in sort of way to where the, the bend starts on the hook. Just want to run the glow bright floss down a couple of mil, remove the waist tag and bring the glow bright floss back up. And then we're just going to come in and not on a whip finish. Two turn whip finish is plenty because we're going to use some UV resin to protect it at the back. So just come in with my UV resin now. Don't want too much yes. Just a wee drop on the back, just to help protect that uh, tag. Right. I assume they've misplaced my needle. There it is there. So, just want to spread this around the tag. Just make sure you get good coverage the whole way around, it's just to, to protect it. There. And then we'll come in with our torch. And set the resin. Just give that a quick blast. Just light it up. So I like to say here in Belfast, just get our lid up. Now, the thread, we're going to use a uni thread, 8 and black. So we're just going to come in then with our thread at the eye and just run our thread down until we're tied up against that glow bright floss tag and remove the, the waist piece. The tail on the fly is golden pheasant tippet feather. I'm going to use one that's dyed a fluorescent uh, yellow. Just put that in through your finger and thumb. That'll line the tips up and then just come in and trim the amount of fibers away that you like and then just remove the remainder of the feather. Now you probably want the tail on this have as long as you like, it's up to you. I just sort of want the, the length of the body over the back. I'm just going to come around with a pinch and loop. A couple of turns will hold that into position. Now you got to leave yourself plenty of room up here at the front. I'm just going to trim that the length of the body. Um, I'm going to use a oval gold tinsel for the rib. Traditionally on the pattern it's a, a flat gold tinsel that's used. And I have a flat gold tinsel there but I'm just going to use the, the oval. Now at this point just forget everything else just run your thread up tying in these two materials and then just going to bring the thread back down again and open turns. The body is traditionally black seals fur this here is a, a traditional Irish dubbing and I don't know if you can make it out but there's wee flecks of blue in this you probably not see it against the t-shirt but this is the, the Ballandary black in the traditional Irish dubbing so I'm just going to dub on a small pinch slide that up so get us started just work it up the the length of the body, anything that wants to go forward just sweep it back, bring up a rib and you're looking four turns of your oval gold tinsel up the body to there, follow this around with your thread, a couple of tight turns to catch that in, come in and trim away the excess. Now you can come in at this point with your trusty velcro on your lollipop stick and just brush out some of the some of the dubbing. Yeah, we're not looking too bad. Next part I'm going to put on a hand haggle in black. This is just a cheap Indian hand cape that has been dyed black. We'll offer that up to the hook. Around with a couple of turns, fold the tip back. A couple of turns back up over the tip on the haggle. Come and remove the, the tip. Right. Just stroke these back fibers and we're looking 
one turn and front of the other, probably two turns I'm going to put on is going to be plenty. Just be mindful of the space at the front. Then just follow this around with my thread. A couple of turns right tight into the stem of the haggle. Just to secure it a wee bit better. Then come in and trim away the stem of the haggle. Just bring my thread to the eye. And back up. I right, just want to get a wee look. We're not on, we're not on ground. We're not on ground, as I say. Now, the wing is just a golden pheasant tippet feather. Now, this is the one that's dyed fluorescent yellow again. I've just cut the the middle part out. Now, just going to offer this up to the to the hook, and I just want it slightly longer. Um, the hand haggle, just pinch it on top, then come around with a pinching loop, a couple of tight turns, just to see what way we're, we're sitting. Yep, looks good. Come in, trim away the excess. I'm going to bring my thread to the eye of the hook, build up the, the thread over the cut ends, turn that in, the wing, good old bronze mallard, just take this out, strip away all the rubbish from the bottom, bring out the amount of fibres that you want to see in the wing, get them to, oh missed the camera there, get them to line up, I try to get this on screen guys but the wee camera I'm working with here, the screen is small and then you just want to start with the the smaller edge that just stripped off just fold it in half folding it in on itself get the tips to, to line up like that then come in offer this up to the hook now you can have this as long and short as you like but in my opinion you want it longer on your tippet Pinching onto the hook, come around with a pinching loop, a couple of tight turns, we can see what way we're, what way we're sitting, right. I'm just checking here, just, okay, I'm happy enough with that, then just going to come in and lift the bronze mallard, nice pair of sharp scissors here, this bronze mallard is a, it's a thick fibre. Bring the thread to the eye and just build up your thread, your head, over the, the cut ends of the bronze mallard. Now, don't worry about it if you can't get it all because what we're going to do here is we're going to put a bit of a highlight into the wing and this is just yellow goose stuff. I'm just going to get rid of all the rubbish at the bottom. Just get this one here married up again. You just to marry it back up, just run your fingers gently through the feather. And that will marry it back up for you. And I'm just going to come in and take a slip for your side. Turn it round to my side. Come on and take a slip for my side. I'm going to put my side on first, I'm just going to hold the bottom, just run that up. Now I want this, right, run about the, run about the length of the, the bronze mallard or so. Just on my side, I'm just going to come around with a pinching loop. I'll come over to your side. Just tilt the vice a wee bit, just to get the, the length. See, I haven't got my glasses on, guys, and I'm, I don't know if that will. I'm just going to come in with a pinching loop, or just a couple of turns, sorry, just to see what way I'm sitting here. I want these to be the same length because my OCD will kill me if they're not. But, yep, okay, happy with that. Just come in gently 
and trim away the too heavy hold it with a goose stuff, just come in and trim away gently. Then come in over the wing and just you can tidy up your head now at this point. Nice and tight with the thread turns. Just missing a wee bit of hair up the top. I'll have to find these glasses. Not good enough, not prepared. But there we go. Then just come in, keeping a hold of the thread tight. Just come in and throw in a, a whip finish. Keeping the thread tight, come in, trim away your tan thread. Just to finish off, we coat of varnish under the head. Come in and make sure that eye's clean. You want to get out onto the bank when your eyes blocked up with varnish, a wee bit of wire. Just make sure it's clean. And there you go guys. That's just a slight variant on the the Balmdary Black. Um, just a wee bit of fun putting the, the goose stiff in as a bit of a highlight into the wing. Um, just using the, the brighter fluorescent materials for the the tail and the the, the, the wee underwing. So look, you face for the Dalgan, you face facing the Balmdary River, you'll have already heard of the Balmdary Black. Um, maybe you're from Northern Ireland, you'll, you'll have heard of it. So look, tie a few of those up. They're good for the Dalgan as well as the trout. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. If you like the wee videos I'm putting together, please consider subscribing to my channel. And until next time guys, please stay safe and take lanes.